This is the source code explanation for the RFID smart card reader, the basic stamp project, the other two videos, the prototype and the complete one. I had a request to explain the code, so I hope I don't do uh, too bad of a job. I'm not sure how everyone is with programming in general or the PBASIC language, but Parallax has got a lot of good tutorials and it's, it's a real simple language. I myself usually just use the example code for the devices through Parallax. Every time you buy a device, there's always basic stamp or propeller example source code. So uh, just real quick to go over the pinouts here, which is um, we're going to need three pins for the smart card reader itself when it's just reading. You're going to need a couple more when you're writing. One's for uh, serial data, the other one's for the serial clock, and then there's a pin for the actual card detect to see if there's a card in there. The RFID reader needs two pins, one for serial data and one to detect if there's a if there's a fob in front of the reader. And then the LCD serial um, pin for communicating to the LCD screen. Everything else is pretty much basically copied from the example code. The constant variables here for things like baud rates and, and different speeds and stuff is going to be based on which version basic stamp to chip you have. I use the PX chip, the fast one, so I've got to look up my uh, constants and the rates in the parallax documentation. All the variables I kept the same. Really the only thing that's uh, custom programmed is the commands for the LCD screen that came with it when I bought it. That wasn't a parallax to, uh, product but just a serial communication to set up the screen and then they've got a main loop that'll uh, actually show the default screen RFID smart card reader and then the secondary loop is going to go through and check to see if there's a card in the smart card reader. If there is, it's going to go to the smart card reader function which is basically, like I said, from the example code and um, if not, they're going to check to see if there's a fob activate the RFID reader and see if there's a fob if there is a fob, it's going to read the serial data um, and put it into this buffer, which, if it's there, it's going to go ahead and just print out the message RFID tag and then go through the buffer and print all the characters, the 10 characters. Pause for two and a half seconds here, just so you can see the, the data before it goes away, then clear the screen and go back to the loop. So it's real, real basic, nothing really too special. The only thing in the smart card, I commented out all the debug statements. Debug in, in uh, the PBASIC language is just outputting to the screen, the, the monitor when you're compiling the code. So obviously we don't want that because we have the LCD screen. And then what I put in is, as you know, in smart cards, um, there's 16 bytes per... Um, location in, the, in their 16 locations. So all I did is just displayed the, I, I, I like to call them the Y values, the Y values across the screen and then each byte that comes in I put underneath the Y values and then the X value is a whole screen refresh. So the first screen will be like X equals 0 and then Y 0 through F and then the bytes and then it refreshes and that's just serial statements. Um, it pretty much takes the form of these debug statements that came in the example code I just changed them for the, the size of the screen that I used. Everything else is right from the smart card example code from Parallax. So I hope this uh, cleared up some questions if anyone had any questions about the uh, the code itself and you know what I did to, to make the project work. Um, feel free to leave any comments that could further explain uh, or just you know point you to the, the Parallax example stuff.